Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. And usually we said Mondays are reserved for the backyard, correct? Yes. But we owe the sponsors an extra day. Oh, the sponsors an extra day. I totally agree. So, and before Shane sends me another dirty message, cussing me message, Amanda, you don't know what he does to me when he, I have his code up, his new one up, whatever License that is. License number. License number. So I just want want Amanda to know how I'm much. I'm just happy they finally got a license. Yeah, me too. I want Amanda to know how much that, that hurts me when he calls me names. Maybe she can talk to him. And today's so. sponsor is ADS. We'll talk about it at the end of the show, yes, all the will. things they do. So we had bowling. City tournament this weekend. And either I did well and you didn't. Right. Or you did well and I didn't. That was on our doubles. Our singles, we went we went okay. Yeah, but we both went. Both both one game, we had 199. Both one game, we had 194. And I don't talk about the first game. Yeah. I had a 225. Ugh. But it was totally opposite. You had the 145 in the singles. I had the 135 <laughs> in the doubles. I don't know if we did any good. 1290? Singles we might have. Singles, singles we might singles have. We but... Might have. It was a guy next to us. James. John. John. Out of his mind. Out of his mind. We, congratulations on another 600. Thank you. By the way, we, we try to aim for 600. Every time. And he is a little bit bowler, better bowler than us. He bowled a seven something. He was on fire though. Fire. He was on fire. Not regular fire. 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 He was on fire. So... We got third in teams in our division. We did not win any money. money. So we're getting better. Yes. And that's kind of the thing, man. If you want to get good at something, you gotta keep you gotta keep first you gotta be coachable. Second, you gotta practice. I'm telling you. It's it's kind of like golf. It's a lot mental. Because you think way too much. Way. Basketball you and football, you get into yeah. the, you know, you don't have time to think. Yeah. But bowling, you get to sit back there and go, man, I missed that easy spare. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> but I hope Daryl Roberts is watching this, DJ's dad. And. Because he knows how, we, well, how we're doing right now. Tommy Miller. Tommy Miller. Was there. And Thursday. Thursday. We uh, brought a little surprise for him. Yep. To give to his wife. Yep. Here and it it's is. a Red Sea t-shirt. Look at Look that. Right. She hey, was man. headed to uh, Austin to shop. Yep. And wore her new Red Sea shirt. Tommy woke her up on Thursday to give it to her. How? The shirt. Yes. The well, shirt. Well, I don't know. I, well, maybe. maybe. I don't it know. it all worked out, but that's good. How Tommy got Kathy, I don't know. Kathy, I need, for some I need proof, and I've seen the pictures before, of Tommy back in the day with the flowing hair. Please <laughs> send that to me so I can post <laughs> that on there. But and had Tommy had bought a shirt as well. So hey, here they are. You just don't get the orange ones. And I got a picture of all our shirts up right now. Oh, it's right there. So Bam. right there. So let's talk. Let's go back. Go back. Can you handle pressure? Yeah, I think I think so. I I can handle pressure. I don't always perform under pressure, but it ain't gonna, it don't make or break me. I feel like sports wise, I'm way better at pressure. Life wise, I might, I might. I think it depends. I think it still goes back to the, to the sport. Basketball, you catch it, you need to make two free throws. At least you get to do something before you shoot it. You know, softball or whatever, you get to do something. Bowling, you got to go. Oh shit! That is the deal. Golf, you got to go, oh, shit. Tennis, you'd have to do that too, right? No, because you get to move, you know. Oh, you're moving You around. get to do something. Yeah, yeah. And it's, but you still got to pull that back, or you still got to pull it back, or you still got to pull it back. And the pressure can go. Now, in life, I think I'm pretty good. My heart rate don't ever hardly get up. Except that time Big Red said they was going to put Cowboy and Lucky. I agree. And all the boxes. Don't talk about it. Oh! But that's not. So last night, phone rings. Okay. Number we don't know. 
Brooks, I'm not answering it. Deny. It comes right back. Oh, answers it. Well, her sister and her brother-in-law got a dog. It's a little aggressive. Okay. And attacks the cat. Bit the kid. Oh. Okay. Bit. Has already bitten the kid. Oh, well. <laughs> then let's keep the dog. So, anyway, need to take it to the vet. Wait a second. You need to take the cat to cat the vet. Cat to the vet. So they want to bring the dog to your house. No, 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 no. They just wanted to take Brooke's grandfather from one of her dad's early marriages as a vet. So right. they called her first just to see if he would see the cat or whatever. She goes, no, you always send him to the vet right over here by Hooters if it's on the weekend or That's whatever. Emergency, yeah. So we get up, we put our shoes on, we get over there. Wait a second. Stop. Are y'all taking the cat? I'm going to finish the story. We go over there. <clears throat> the cat, they got him in a little cage. Of course, the kids are worried about the cat. Mama's worried about the kids and the cat. So they're a little frazzled over there. Okay. When we get over there, cat's got blood all over it. Got a little, got a little head to puncture wound problem. So... gonna take it to the vet so uh, dr. Brooks and nurse Cox look at the cat and it's got a deal of blood right here cut deep okay I went I don't think that's cut deep get us a wash rag so we get a wash rag and we get all the blood off got a little got a puncture in the top of its head right running down the side but the cat messed on itself peed on itself so it got pretty scared, and that dog slung it around pretty good because there was blood coming out of, out of her nose. Oh, yeah, he probably got on it. <clears throat> but in situations like that, I had a stepson who cut his hand damn near off. Right. A bunch of different situations. I am very calm in those situations. I totally agree. I've seen kids hurt on a soccer field. I've seen fingers pointed over at indoor soccer. You've seen, you've seen people Dead. at softball. Bam, oh, right. seen dead people. Yeah. You know. I saw Gary Wayne do exactly what I tell him not to do. <sighs> Pass out when he cuts his hand. And I tell him, don't touch that glass. And what's he do? How'd you get him up, though? I <laughs> slapped the dog. <laughs> he passed out on me, and I went. And I... And then I went. I didn't get him up. You know what? <laughs> what? And I slapped the dog. But I agree with that in that situation. Same thing. I'm not, even when we we stop and help somebody wrecked on the road that time when it was pouring down rain coming over where the, now McLean Stadium right. is, had a wreck, we got out, we helped the people, people were going. I don't panic in those situations. That could be because of doing the EMS and paramedic. I stuff. came down one time and this kneecap was sitting right here. <clears throat> and I had to pick it up. And move it back into place. Because I'd have trouble when my kneecaps come out of place. And you they, if, you put, if you just push it back in, a lot of times it'll come back in. It'll and snap it'll, over. It'll, it'll shatter it. That's a little... Yeah. I think my, my heart rate got up a little bit on that one. But I did pick it up and put it back over there. And you've you've broken your ankles 19 Ankle, times. Collarbone. But pressure, sports-wise, I like it. Even though it's in golf and I'm not a golfer, I still want to do the putt. Bowling and <clears> struggle <throat> with that 7-10 and know what to throw at that 10 pin with spare ball, I still want that. I want because I can get over, oh, my God, you let it down. I'm fine. But I like the dude, man. I, I didn't know you could get our that. Our buddy Gerald that's on our team is a heck of an athlete. I totally agree. Getting, like us, he'll play anything. Totally agree. He's competitive at anything. And we got ready to start the city bowling tournament. He went, shh, shit, I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, and he's done it 30 times. Yeah, I agree. But, but he usually that, comes through. He didn't this weekend. No. But he usually comes through in the clutch. But after that 30th beer, he, he felt a lot better. What do we got going on at the backyard this week? Oh. What's our big shows? Because I need Well, to let, me go, let me go Tuesday, open mic. Wednesday, it's always... Chris at happy hour. Yeah. And we dang near give stuff away. Okay, boy. Then it's Johnny Joe or Flex Aces. He's a DJ that's right. kind of tearing up around here. They 
alternate Wednesdays. Right. Thursday, always Piano Man. And then Casey Donahue and William Clark Green, back to back. And me and Brian will be there managing. If that ain't worth coming, because Rex is out of town. I, right, Rex is at the convention. I hope Rex has Son fun of a Vegas. gun. Him and Mikey are at the I have the, to be uh, there convention. two nights in a row. I kind of feel like Russell right now. Live Is that Friday? Trouble. Was that, was that Friday? Hmm? This Friday. This Friday. Casey Donahue and then William Clark Green Saturday. I might come. That's a heck of a back to back show. It actually is, man. I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, we're going to do this all week. Oh, today's barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes uh, with some baked beans. And by the way, Amanda, I spelled it right. I was told by Chris I spelled baked beans right. So I'm pretty happy they're not backed beans. And shout out to Paragon Sports who had a, out. had a party at the backyard last night, a company party that went very well. Five golf carts. Five golf carts shuttling them back and forth the whole day. We do everything to make around. it work. Mess around. Now, we're going to talk about ADS in just a second. Okay. But at the end of each show this week, I am going to put up a trailer that we run on Amazon Prime. We are almost to our 2 million streaming minutes. Woo! And I'm super excited. Uh, and I want to keep pushing it because we're starting our new series. We shoot the teaser for our new series Wednesday. Rain or rain shine. Rain or shine. Screw it. I'm shooting it in the rain. Rain or shine. We're shooting the teaser. Hoax writing it now. I'm telling you something. This will be the grittiest stuff we've ever done. If you liked Breaking Bad, if you liked... Sons of Anarchy. If you liked Fargo, we're blending all them up, and it's it's. That's a very good description of the a, of the first two scripts that yeah. I've read, as that's where it's heading. Yeah, thank you, good <clears throat> buddy. Yeah, and it's one of those deals that even though it, even though we're taking it from something we've already done, and that character there's a whole a whole, new. A whole lot. A, a lot of other characters that get a lot of screen time. Totally agree. So. Totally agree. Hey, we need a lot of extras too at times. Yes. So if you don't mind coming and wasting a day with us, You'll eat. let us know. Yes. You'll be fed good. And maybe some backyard food. Mm. What does ADS do? ADS. I, it just happens. To, I have an email that says what they do. Just tell me. Read it. Chris, I just realized that I didn't send this to you. Thank you, First, Dave. Thank you. They do pinstripes, company logos, partial wraps, custom logo and decals, accessories for car, trucks, and Jeeps, grill guards, bumpers, bed covers, step bars, chrome trim, LED lights, LED conversions, leather seat conversions, custom fit seat covers, backup cameras. Oh, wait for it. I forgot one. Lifetime warranty headlight restoration. Bam. ADS. Right there on Franklin. 10th and Franklin, I believe. Right, yeah, right in there. Tenth, or Across right from after. where Screen Text yep. used to be. Yep. And and they're not a sponsor, but they're a sponsor at the backyard. Shout out to them. Yeah. They've been pumping shirts out for the backyard and us. Bam, 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 and we appreciate it. Pumping, pumping, pumping. pumping, it. pumping. We're going to get out of here, man. Uh, you got we... a topic you want us to talk about? Yeah, send it to us. Send it to us. Somebody asked, Rance, from Rance, uh, who does uh, help us with a lot of our air conditioning Northern stuff, air. Northern Air. Say, he ain't a sponsor either, so yeah. forget I said that. Yeah. Where do y'all get y'all's topics from? And I'm like, dude, we just, life. Send us a topic. We'll talk about it. Order a shirt. Take a picture. You might not like what we say. Yeah. Order a shirt. Take a picture in it. And you, too, <clears throat> can be up here just like Kathy was today. And we got Red Sea shirts. If you yeah. want one, hit us up. Fiction order some more hats. Cody and Melody want one of everything. Oh, my God. That's because they got all them kids. Yeah, they that's right. One. They, just they not, didn't say stuff for the kids, it's though. Not, oh, I don't that's like so it I don't know. I like it better. Until tomorrow, man, like and share. I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are out of here. I'm going after Tyson with or without you. Tyson's bad news. Hell, his whole team is bad news. And I know you, Lucky. I know you're ready to take this guy on with everything you got. The money is flowing, the drugs are moving, everyone's happy. What do you want from me? Cowboy and Lucky. <sighs> They're under control. I don't want you to control them. Then what do you want? I want them dead.
What are you doing? I'm saving your life. I got brains all about. Give me that. Quit being a baby. Get your gun. 